show you guys a really cool site called AnyLink. And basically what AnyLink allows you to do is you're able to link to any website that you would like to in a YouTube annotation or card. And it's actually really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys an example here. Uh, if we hit this little I, this is for a card. You can click on it, it says visit Pastebin. If we click on this, it'll open up a new link and it'll actually open up a Pastebin link, which is really, really cool. Um, there's a bunch of applications that you can use for this. If you're a news channel, you could um, put a news link, article link directly on the page. Um, if you're, you know, you got a download you want to offer people, you can link the download to the Mediafire page or whatever right away. Um, there's really a whole lot of uses that you can use for this. If you need to give something to someone on Pastebin, it's right there. It's actually really cool. And like I said, this is it being used in cards, but it actually works as well in annotations. Uh, so I have one in this video here somewhere. So you guys can see here, if I click on this link, it'll actually bring us to the pastebin as well. And like I said, you can make it, make it to any site that you'd want to, which is really, really cool. So I'm really excited about that, and I want to show you guys exactly how you can do this. So to begin by doing this, you're going to visit a page called anylink.kyld.me, and I'm going to include a link in the description box, as well as put an annotation and a card on the screen right now, just so you guys can kind of use it. Um, and it'll bring you to this page right here, and this is where you can sign up and set up your entire account, and it's really, really cool. So um, first of all, I want to mention this is free. Um, it, there's two options with uh, membership. You can get the free membership, which includes it's ad supported. Um, you will see an advertisement before your link. Um, it's ad fly, it's like five seconds, um, but it does help to pay the cost for the free membership. Whereas if you go with a premium membership, it's only actually $5 a year, which is really not bad at all. $5 for a year, that's actually really, really good. But that's completely ad free and um, you get better support. You can actually use AdFly in it on the free one. You can't do that. So it's actually really cool. Um, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do all the stuff on the site directly from sign in and log, uh, signing up actually all the way to premium membership, free membership and everything, how you can do everything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, visit the site here. And you can't actually pay yet if you want to do premium membership. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to hit sign in here. And then on the bottom of this page, you're just going to say new to any link, join today. And you click that. And then it'll just ask you to fill your information here. Now, um, just use real information. You do have to verify your email. So I would definitely make sure you're doing a real email. Remember your password in case you have to ever manage anything or do anything. Remember that. And this link right here is just your YouTube channel. So mine's going to be there and then obviously a recapture um just you know and that in and hit uh, create my account perfect so you guys can see after we do that we've got our account logged in up here but it won't actually allow us to do anything because we have to activate our account basically it says please follow the link in your email to activate your account and you can resend it if you don't get it so you're just going to go ahead and check that email that you just entered in a couple of seconds ago um it's up here if you forgot which one you entered you have multiple emails um, but like I said, make sure it's one that you can get emailed to, and if you could not find it, be sure to check your junk folder because it can end up in there as well. So like I said, just be careful of that and make sure that you're aware of that, um, that little feature of it. Uh, it can take a minute or two, uh, just because of the way that the system is set up. It sends emails out every, I believe, three minutes is how often it sends out batches of emails. So it can take a second, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the video, and uh, once I've... Uh, found the video or the email on my phone and activated it, I'll let you guys know. All right. All right, guys, so I just opened up the link in my email and um, you'll just get a link and it'll just say, please click this below. And when you open it up, it'll say your account has been activated. Pretty easy. And uh, you can then go ahead and visit my account and it'll say your account has been activated. Go to the home page, resets the system, and you can go back to my account now. And you guys can see here that I am a free member. I have not signed up for anything yet. So, um, yeah, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go through the setup process of being a free member. And you guys, uh, there is cards on the side. If you hit that little eye up in the right hand corner, probably somewhere around here. If you go ahead and hit on that, and then uh, you can jump to different parts of the video based on what you're looking to do. But uh, this section is gonna be free members. So if you're gonna be a free membership, it's actually really, really simple. What you're gonna do is head over to the setup page here, and you'll see this video right up here. And um, just ensure that your account is verified. This number one step. Uh, you'll see a little link here under verified. It'll say verified. If not, you just hit a button that's there, and it'll just ask you to enter in your phone number, and then ask you to enter the code that they text you. It's really, really cool. 
So, and then the next part is it gives you your AnyLink site address. Now, because this is for a free membership, it's just going to be free.kyld.me. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and we're just going to go ahead and copy this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to paste it in here, and it's all video, uh, all shown in the uh, pictures and stuff, but uh, just so you guys can see here, under associated website, we're just going to go ahead and paste that in here and make sure that it does have the HTTP colon forward forward slash, otherwise YouTube will not accept it as an accept acceptable um acceptable website and you go ahead and hit add here and what you'll see is you'll see a little pending icon here and you have to verify that you own this site so what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and hit verify here and um, what you're gonna do once you're on the site is just hit download this HTML verification file and uh, once you've gotten that downloaded you can go ahead and head back to the any link page scroll down this is like I said just walking you through the exact same stuff I'm doing and then you just hit uh, choose file here and just download that file that you just uploaded, uh, or not download it, upload the file that you just downloaded. And uh, let's see here, Google something. So today it's 7.40, that's the time it is. So this is the one that I need to upload. I'll just hit open, and then I'll just hit send here. And what you'll see is it says it's been uploaded, the file is now processed, and now you can click the verify button shown below. So pretty cool. And now we get logged out, and once we go ahead and go back to the Google page here, we hit verify. It'll say, uh, great job, it's now verified. So that's perfect. And we go back to our YouTube page here, and you'll see that if we reload the page, it will say success, which is perfect. And now we're all set up on our page. And if we sign back into our AnyLink account, you guys can see here that um, I'll sign back in here. And the page is actually changed, and now we have a link generator button instead of a sign up button. And basically, this tells you exactly how to do it. So this is your AnyLink address. Simply add a website, including HTTP colon forward forward slash to the end. And be aware this is a free account and linking will be ad supported. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste this here. And this is the uh, link that we can use in our videos, either on the cards or on the annotations. So I've got a video uploaded here. This is just a test. So we're going to go ahead and hit annotations just to show you guys this real quick. Go ahead and uh, this is the video here. And uh, if we just go ahead and add an annotation nope and then we go ahead and hit link here and then associate a website Ooh, why is that not uh it's not showing up huh weird okay oh, okay what did that link up there say so it'll say enable your account for okay external annotation links you just have to accept the guidelines i guess guys um but once you've done that then you can go ahead and uh Add the note in, I guess. Then Oops, I didn't realize you did that. So just hit link here, and then just hit associate a website, and then you can go ahead and paste in here like this. Perfect. So we're just gonna go ahead and type in pastebin.com or whatever. Oh, sorry, I forgot you have to do like that. Okay, what's up here? One second, that's very, very strange. Let's try this. Uh, da, 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 try one more time. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry about this, guys. It should be working, really. I'm not sure why it's not. Let's try it on cards. Add in a card here. Okay, so I'm going to head to the website and link this in here, and S equals. Spin.com. So we should be able to uh, oh HTTP colon forward forward slash. Don't forget that, guys. Like I said, don't forget that. And you'll see it'll actually link you guys up and do all that. So we'll just hit create card there, and you guys can see. Ooh, is it paste bin? Visit paste bin. Okay. Then you can hit create card there. And uh, yeah, if we look through this video, we hit this and we hit this and you'll see it'll open up a new page and go bring us right to pastebin actually really cool and oh yeah I forgot we're on a free account so you do get the ad fly link here but uh, you guys can see after we wait the five seconds here and then hit skip ad brings us right to pastebin pretty darn cool all right and this should work with annotations let's try this now um, I'm not sure why it wasn't before let's try it again hit add annotation here link associated website and then oh here we go now it's working 
So now if we do this and hit preview link, it'll bring up the paste bin thing once again with the ad fly. So works, perfect. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and now look at how to set up with a, um, with a premium membership. So right now we're a free account, we don't want the ads or anything, so we can hit pricing and we can go ahead and sign up for a premium membership. We'll just hit pay with card, and this is all done with Stripe, so it's actually really secure and everything. Um, yeah, you can see you're powered by Stripe. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my credit card information, and I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, now we are back and we'll hit pay with card and uh, right now I'm in testing mode, you see test mode. So uh, this card number is not at all legit, but this is just a testing card that uh, Shape provides us with. So if we hit pay $5 here, you see that it will load up properly and it will uh, bring us to the page that says thanks for paying, we're logging into your account, please log back in to continue with setup. Now we log you guys out of your account and then you can just go ahead and sign back in. Enter your information in here, of course. And under my account, you should now see a uh, premium, premium membership uh, badge here. Now, if you guys want to extend this, uh, you see the expiration date is one year from the date that you purchase it. And if you want to uh, extend it, you can just hit pay with card and it'll extend it by one year. Pretty much the same exact, um, same exact setup as pricing. And it'll extend it by one year. So now once we've gotten the premium membership, we have to set it up again. So we're just going to go ahead and go to setup here, and it looks pretty similar. The only difference is that you get a new AnyLink site address, and this is your custom site address. It allows you to um, it allows you to be you and identify as yourself when you go to use it. Um, and no one else can use it. It won't work for anyone else. So it's actually pretty cool. So what we're going to do is go back to our YouTube page here, hit channel, hit advanced and under sushi website we're going to change it from free.caldi.me which i had verified previously and we're just going to go ahead and do uh, 9.caldi.me now this 9 is my custom id for the site um, we don't have that many users it's all been testing so far so i'm pretty early in but as people sign up and everything the numbers will increase but then we're just going to hit add here and uh, like i said make sure there's http http colon forward forward slash because then youtube will not allow for it so we're going to go ahead and hit verify here, and once again, it's going to make us download an HTML file. Now, the thing is that for each Google account, everyone has, you always keep the same um, HTML verification file. So if you have the one from earlier, don't change that. If you have, you know, if you set up a pre-account and then you got a premium account, upload the original one without the, the extra stuff at the end because you're going to be the same exact file. So we're just going to go ahead and hit upload here. And like I said, choose that file that uh, file that we uploaded, we got earlier, but um, not the one that has any modifications to the name, the original name. Hit open here, and then we'll go ahead and hit send. And it'll say the file has been uploaded. We'll process the file, and it'll log us out of our account. Now um, we'll log back in here, but I'm gonna log into my administrator account real quick. I'll log in actually. So we log back into our account here. Um, you'll actually see that we cannot use the link generator yet. It's still taking us to the setup page. And it's because I've already submitted my file. And basically, once a premium account has been set up, we have to process it on through because we have to set up your unique um, unique domain. It hasn't been created yet. So we have to go ahead and create that for you as well as modify your files in the back end so that everything's proper and working for you. So give us 48 hours. We'll send you an email once it has been processed and once it's all been done and it is through. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this manually because I've already set up my domain. So give me one second, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, now I've done all the backend and stuff, and my account is now activated properly. So now we can use the link generator as we would in the free account. The only difference is that it now uses your unique code instead of free. So you're just going to go ahead and hit copy on this again, and you can do the same thing that you would. Oh, we'll go back to YouTube here. We'll go back to YouTube and we can do the exact same thing now that it's been fair. Oh wait, we have to, sorry, I forgot. Once we email you, you have to go to advanced and hit um, verify again, and then hit this verify orange button here. Okay, now that it's been verified, now you can do the Google stuff. So if you refresh this page, it should say success. So perfect. Now we can go ahead and do that stuff once it's been verified. Like I said, we'll send you an email once we've set up your account and you can go ahead and hit that orange button. So once again, we'll go ahead and go to cards here, and we'll go ahead and uh, hit add card, 
and works the same way really just with the new link http colon forward forward slash blah 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 you know payspin.com and bam it'll uh it'll do the same exact thing so guys that's pretty much it you guys can do the same thing for annotations and that's pretty much it hope you guys did enjoy the video um i wanted to mention one thing this pricing there is no um there's no uh, subscription it's always you have to extend it manually otherwise it will expire and this is just because people hate subscriptions they're like why did this get on my account blah 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 it's not a subscription at all it's one time one time thing all right guys thank you guys so much.